the Sears Telegames Video Arcade Cartridge Systems. Awesome. Sold by Sears Roebuck & Co. Chicago, Illinois. I remember seeing these at my local Sears you know, back in the day. I got the Atari version. But it was cool to see the Telegames version because it had a pretty neat looking console with the silver background. and the, It's actually pretty cool looking. The box art's kind of cool as well. Has these little artwork on here. You know, got the casino kind of art. We have a football artwork, chess, some kind of motocross, some kind of combat war game there, some kind of space game. Pretty awesome. Of course, it came with Target Fun, which I think is actually a pretty fun game. It's not too bad. So, of course, in the box, start digging in here, rooting around in the box. Ugh. Of course, there's one joystick. Standard old Atari joystick. There's a whole new joystick. Oh, there's another joystick. And there's a second joystick. Cool. Digging in the box. Oh, here comes the Padel controllers. Awesome. Digging, digging in the box. And of course, hey, get out of there. We have the game console itself. It's out of the way. The good old Sears Telegames Video Arcade. Pretty cool. This is the light sixer version. You can see it has the thin plastic on the sides, whereas the heavy sixer version has a real thick plastic strip all along the sides and the front. Got our ports back here for our controllers and the power supply. Of course, it says Video Arcade on the very front. Video Arcade. Pretty cool. Okay, what else is in this box? Should be a game in this box. Yep, there it is. <clears throat> so there's the Target Fun instructions and the Target Fun cartridge. Awesome. Let's see, what else? Oh, oh, oh. We have the manual for the system. The Carriages Telegame System Video Arcade. Model number 637.75001. <laughs> Owner's manual. I like the artwork on this manual. Basically goes through, tells you how to hook it up. There's that old TV switch box. I remember messing with those back in the day. What channel to put your TV on, what the switches do on the console. Some troubleshooting, you know, which comes in handy. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What else is in this box? Anything else down in here? Nope, nothing else. That's it. All right. Well, before we hook it up, let's look at the back of the box really quick. It shows a close-up view of Target Fun on the TV screen. We have anti-aircraft games, torpedo games, which that's what I like, the torpedo games, shooting gallery, and Polaris and bomber games. Even has like a neat little selection chart right on the box of all the different game modes. That's pretty cool. This box has seen better days though. It's pretty bad. So before we play Target Fun, let's take a look, close look at the cartridge here. Plain black background. It shows the four types of games we got on here. And of course our manual. It's got some cool artwork on the front. But it is full color. I love full color manuals. Shows the different games you can play. Anti-aircraft. Of course, my favorite is the torpedo games. It's like playing Seawolf. I love Seawolf in the arcade. <clears throat> that was the closest thing you could get to Seawolf on the 2600 back when it came out. Got the shooting gallery, which is kind of fun. Got our missile games. Got the bomber games. Missile versus bomber. Those are fun to play. And, of course, our little selection grid on the back. Pretty cool. I think the Target Fun cartridge was a good pack-in for the system back then. You know, I, I much preferred this over the combat game that came with the Atari. Although I did like combat and I played it, I much enjoyed this one a lot better. Okay, enough talking. Let's put this bad boy in. And let us begin the game. Alright! 
So, of course, here's the first game that pops up. It's basically a target game where you're shooting the planes. Go ahead and play a little bit. Ooh, missed. It's not too bad of a game. But like I said, I like the torpedo game. So that's going to be game mode number, let's see, seven. Oh, here we go. Torpedo! Get the ships! When I visited my buddy's house who had a Sears Telegame version, he had this cartridge before I bought Air Sea Battle for my 2600. We would play this game for hours. It's a lot of fun playing two people. And it's somewhat challenging as well. You can select different options, like we have guided missiles, guided torpedoes, or you can select the size of the torpedo, make it smaller, make it a little bit harder. But as you can see, I can't hit the side of a barn with this crazy thing. Here we go. Get him, get him, get him. Boom! Boom! So let's do the shooting gallery, which should be game number 13. Oh, here's oh here we go here we go here's a good version of uh, of the torpedo game. This one actually has obstacles you have to avoid, which is kind of cool. I got it on robot mode right now. I don't have it plugged into my second controller, so I can't play against myself. Anyway, shooting gallery. Okay, here we go. Let's shoot the happy faces and the duck. Get the duck. Man, there we go. Got the duck. Yep. Oh, missed him. There we go. Oh, look, a rabbit. Yes, got the rabbit. Cool. So let's go to the next one here. Let's go to Missile. Should be game number 16. This was kind of cool. So this one, you shoot a missile from a ship to try to hit the planes above. This is another one of my favorites. Very similar to Sea Wolf. This was pretty challenging as well. Oh! 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 Too soon. Oh! Come on! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh! Oh, right behind him. Oh man, I can't could hit that plane worth nothing, man. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh! Now let's try Bomber, which should be game number 19. Now we're going to bomb things. This is kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of Canyon Bomber a little bit. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, missed them all. Oh, missed them all again. Okay. Boom. Cool. And, of course, we have Missile versus Bomber, which is game number, starting at 22. So, basically, you have two players, like, sit there and bomb each other, shoot missiles... All that good stuff. It's a fun two-player game to play. It's actually quite a bit of fun. But of course, like I said, my favorite game has got to be the torpedoes. Let's do torpedoes with obstacles, which should be game number 10? Yeah, game number 10. Oh, here we go. Now, this is what really reminds me of Sea Wolf. love this game. I mean, I played this first before I picked up Air Sea Battle. This is why I picked up Air Sea Battle for my 2600 because I played Target Fun with my friend's Sears Video Arcade. Pretty fun game to play. Oh, man, that was pretty good. Rapid Fire. Oh, 
Whoop. Get the ship. Don't get the mine. Get the ship. Cool. Anyway, did any of you, any of you guys, get a Sears Telegames video arcade system for Christmas back when it came out? What'd you think of the console? And what'd you think of the packing game Target Fun? Comment down below. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. <laughs>